Hey guys, Austin with Graphic Solutions here. Uh, I'm here with Kevin Eddington. He is our paint product specialist. Um, Kevin, we call you that, and by we, the other reps, uh, why? Why do we call you the paint product specialist? So for years, I've been uh, working for paint manufacturers or been in the paint industry. Uh, most of it being in the sign part of it. For the last 20 years, I've been dealing with uh, the sign industry. Uh, with paint in some form or fashion. Um, I started out on the automotive side with DuPont and uh, we sold to the largest sign company in the United States called Plastiline and that's kind of how I got my feet wet even though I was doing automotive paint for se that seven years and uh, uh, we sold to uh, those guys and then I went to work for Spraylad and then AXO and okay. now GSG. So. so when you're saying paint anything um, the, I would assume the best or the, 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 the most important part is going to be prep, right? So is there a difference between prepping steel and aluminum as opposed to maybe prepping uh, acrylic or poly? Or can you just prep it all the same way and just start spraying? No, it's de that's a great question. Uh, it's definitely when you prep um, your different substrates, it's a good idea to maybe go to the manufacturer that you're using. In the sign industry, AXO, Matthews, uh, you can go to the tech data sheets or Matthews has a uh, paint and prep guide that's really good. And okay. it's going to tell you, you know, use a plastic uh, prep solvent to wipe everything down and get it clean before you prime it and what primer to use or if you're doing metal or aluminum that you need to use this wax and grease remover and things like that so right. um, our vendors Matthews and AXO both they do a good job of letting you know what products to use you can't wipe them with the same if you did wipe them with the same thing there are some there is some wiggle room there, but uh, if you wipe them with the same product, you could craze the plastic. You could not actually clean the, the metal enough to where the primer right. or paint will stick. So, so. it's spec that way for a certain reason because it's going to work best for that product. That's correct. So after we have the, the substrates prepped, the next part is, is to paint. So some shops have a mixing system, some shops don't you know there's there's a there's obviously a difference you know having a mixing system you can you can mix it right then and there but do you absolutely have to have a mixing system no you don't have to have a mixing system like at GSG we mix both Matthews and AXO at uh, different branches and we mix in the increments of quarts up to a gallon size and you can get uh, whatever size or flavor you're looking for uh, uh, it's a good idea as a customer if you've got uh, the formula from AXO or Matthews mm -hmm. to give it to us and then that way we've got your exact formula. If not, you just you give us the Pantone color number, the Sherwin-Williams number, the 3M okay. vinyl number and we can look up the formulas so, and mix it off of that. So I've done that a couple times is where the, the sign company would actually go to Sherwin-Williams or Sherwin-Williams and they would they would actually get the different Pantones and hey, this is the one we need. We can send in a Sherwin-Williams color number and be able to get a match? Yeah, there's a good chance that our vendors, uh, AXO and Matthews, already have it matched, but great place to kind of segue into if you don't have a color matched or it is a special color, you can send it to the manufacturer and have it matched and we can get a formula, mix it, or it can be mixed at your place. Um, the one thing to know is you need to contact AXO or Matthews, either one, and they'll give you the process or us and we'll help you guide along on getting that product to get um, to the manufacturer to their labs to be matched you don't want to just send a product to them and it shows up and they don't know who to match yeah, it for no or what it is or what series to mix uh, to match it in so so the best practice if you needed a specific color matched and you wanted to get it from the vendor is to either reach out to the vendor or a GSG rep so they could send the formula to the sign company or to our color match here in Dallas or one of the other branches, or they could send it um, to their lab and mix it and we could ship it directly from Matthews. So that's the process. Oh yeah, yeah. Now with a Matthews or an AXO, they've got minimums that they have to meet. So it might be a four gallon or a two gallon minimum to have it mixed from them. From us, if they give us the formula, we can mix it, send it to you in a quart, gallon, whatever you're looking for. 
Um, if you've got your own mixing station, of course, you can mix it immediately and check the color out, make sure it's accurate. That's going to get you a closer match than both companies have scanners, have color scanners to where you can um, color scan the color and get a pretty close, uh, pretty, pretty accurate match immediately. Uh, but if you're looking for that 100% match, the and gloss level, uh, color, match, everything like that, okay. then you're going to want to definitely send it to the vendor. If you're needing just a quick match, uh, both of them have a color scanner that um, we can help you get somehow um, matched for you. Okay. So from my days in the warehouse, I remember seeing uh, from both vendors, AXO and Matthews, a factory pack. So what exactly is a factory pack? Because I, if, I, if I'm remembering this correctly, it's, it's a pre-mixed color, correct? That is correct. So you've got some of your more popular colors, uh, satin black, uh, satin white, brushed aluminum, um, 313 bronze. Some of those things are pre-mixed and we have them from uh, your Matthews or AXO in a gallon form to where you'll be able to immediately, we could send it to you. you can, if you've already got the catalyst, you've already got the reducer or the hardener that you need to mix in it, then you get that and you're ready to go. Okay, so if you're a sign company that's only painting maybe all brushed silver or uh, white and blacks, so you really don't need a mixing system. You can buy these factory packs and if you have those one-off colors where you need it mixed or matched, you have other sources. That's correct. I mean, you don't have to have a mixing system and the only negative for a mixing system for a sign company is um, the inventory levels that you would have to have. Yes, you don't have to have a lot of inventory, but if you're not using a certain amount of paint a year, it doesn't make sense to have a mixing station maybe at your place um, until you maybe get to that point. If you get to that point, both AXO or Matthews will come in, take a look at it and see if it makes sense for you to have one. Um, where that helps is you can mix smaller increments, you can mix a color immediately, you're not having to wait on it to come to you. So there's a lot of positives, but the negative is the inventory side of it. If okay. you're not using enough in a year period, it might make just more sense to get it mixed by us and, and sent to you as far as that goes. Okay, um, another thing that I used to see when I worked in the warehouse were touch-up bottles, and I thought it was the the coolest idea in the world. Could you share, talk a little bit more about what a touch-up bottle is and what they're used for? So we sell empty touch-up bottles. Um, I think there's 50 in a box mm -hmm. and it comes with a little brush in it and holds two ounces of paint. And a lot of times um, guys will buy those and if you've already got your mixing station, your painter will automatically, when he gets done with a set of channel letters or a cabinet, he'll probably try to pour up some of that paint in there without the hardener and reducer, of course, and it'll go out. And then uh, your guys in the field, the screws, yep. they can touch them up. They accidentally scratch a little bitty spot. They can touch it yep. up before they, uh, as they install it or they do um, exactly. any kind of work on it. That's how I found out about it is I had a, we had a customer that was taking it to somewhere and he scratched it on his, yeah. on the trailer. And he was like, hey, send me, you know, he had to send, I had to hot shot a touch-up bottle out there to, to get all that stuff done. So I thought that was a, a, a pretty must-have um, when you're doing installs. Or even if you're a wholesaler, you can send that with whoever you're going. So if they, they need it as well. So Yeah, one other option you've got is Matthews does have uh, custom um, spray cans that we have the machine here yeah. in Dallas at a our location in Dallas and we can mix any of your Matthews paint into a spray can form that has hardener in it to where you puncture the hardener, shake it up and it's just like spraying a catalyzed paint that mm -hmm. you're going to be using in the field. Uh, the thing you do have to remember is you're not going to just use that one can for a touch up. It's going to be more of you go out to the field and there's already a pole there maybe and you want that pole to match the cabinet that you're bringing a brand new cabinet in you could have a spray can with your guy there he can scuff up that little pole and uh, spray can that pole or something if you've okay. got to redo something like that so neat little system with the to kind of uh, help out the guys that are on site uh, that they don't have the, the the luxury of having the mixing system or that's right. or the booth right there next to them oh yeah so 
kind of what, after we've talked, I wanted to sum up some of the points we talked about was your biggest thing that you need to do is prep work, is to make sure you're using the correct stuff for, is prep work. I wanna make sure that you're using the correct product for the right substrate. That's definitely a big one is prep. Prep um, ensures that the product's gonna stick, it's gonna stay, it's gonna last, and it's gonna be there for a while. The other one that I would say as far as paint goes, the other most important thing is, is follow your tech sheets. Yep. Uh, follow, use your uh, mixing sticks, your mixing cups that we sell from uh, Matthews or AXO. Um, that way you're following the, what it says on the tech sheet. Go back and reference it again to make sure you're, you're following those things the correct way. Right, because if, if I remember correctly, AXO and uh, Matthews have different ratios. It's not the exact same because I don't want to get all into that. It's a different video, but yeah. you need to make sure that you're reading the right tech sheet for the right one. Now that is exactly correct. I what mean, there's several different ratios for our industry, the primers, different things. Right. Make sure you're doing the right, right catalyst with the right product, right reducer for the right temperature, um, so on and so forth. Make right. sure you read those tech sheets. It's okay. a good idea. And you can get those tech sheets um, from any GSG rep, you can get them on our website, you can reach out to the vendor themselves. So there's multiple ways to gather this information to make sure that you're, uh, you're doing things correctly. So if you guys have any questions, please reach out. We'd be happy to help. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you guys. Have a great day.